So we're getting, I'm going to start getting back into the modeling. Um, took a while off because of the vacation, just because of just stuff. Um, so I'm going to do next is uh, me and my younger brother, Tom. We're going to go um, build a, we're going to build a game board, a 4x4 four four game board. It's going to be divided just like this one right here. Okay, these two sheets. Okay, this is a grassland game board and there's a little lake right there. Um, they're divided into two by four foot sheets. Put them together, they make a, a four by four game board. They're not perfectly exact, but whatever. Um, so this game board that we're gonna make soon is uh, gonna be um, uh, moon based, and uh, basically it's just gonna be a gray board and filled with craters and stuff. I've got um, or mostly just like little holes. I'm gonna actually make separate crater pieces like this one right here. And if you want to see how to make these, just um, go on my channel I have videos on how to make these okay so I got another one I've been working on one right here there's another one I haven't painted it at all but you can see it's just in the large crater um, and uh, probably gonna just make a, like another f maybe one or two more of these and these are gonna be uh, hindering terrain I think and then um, I got a figure out exactly what I'm going to use but I think I'm going to we're going to for like the centerpiece of the board we're going to create a huge like space station or a satellite station or something I, I want to build like a big like a, like a really big dish that like that's based on this moon with like you know all the cables and whatnot anchoring it up um, that would look really awesome See if I can't get some lights in there, work some lights in there, some fiber optics, maybe a docking, like a space station or something, a dropship port or something. Um, yeah, so uh, we'll have, as soon as I go to Home Depot and get a, a 2 by 8 foot sheet of inch foam and more black paint, I think we need some deep gray paint and uh, it should be good enough and then we can just dry brush on anything else um so yeah as soon as i get more paint and another sheet of foam we can get working on this i'll probably do that tomorrow or something Maybe if i get up early enough and i don't sleep in anyway um so that's it oh uh, let me show you this one thing that i have and i got from my ex-girlfriend right oh my god well anyway she got me this this uh, um, star, because you know I'm into stars. So she got me a star machine thing, and uh, I mean I don't think I'm ever really gonna use it, but I, don't know, I guess it's interesting. It's strange. Anyway, that's not what I'm talking. That's not what I'm about. Though. But look at this thing. I don't know what that is. I mean, I know what it is. It, you, you point it at the thing and it makes a projection. So, but I mean, just looking at it, that would be one bitchin' like orbital gun. If I could, like, where's the base that goes to this? Just like, okay, so here's the base. Let's give it a So here's the base, right? And we can take this, and then this sits. Like that, or you know, however you do it, but that's how it works. Now, okay, so this side it's got like the grooves here on this side, it's nothing, which kind of sucks. So, I'm gonna have to kind of craft something to make it look even, or maybe just yeah, something. But I mean, that's pretty awesome, that would be a great. That would be pretty, 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 pretty cool. I mean, just paint it up, get rid of all that on the bottom, the 3D, uh, like, I don't know what we can do with these little slits right here. Probably do something with them. Just mock it up. Make it look good. Oh, this thing turns. That's clever. Oh, yeah.
But that'd be pretty awesome to use as a, an orbital gun. That would be really, really cool. Got an on off switch. I could open this up and figure out how it works. We could probably stick some LEDs in there. Oh, wait. Oh, man. We could get some fiber optics in here. Just maybe, like, just line it with fiber optics. Just running through it. That'd be great. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to open this up and I'm, I'm going to. I'm gonna be back in like five seconds. Bye. Okay. So I spent about. Oh, did I lose the scroll? Oh, good. No, I didn't. Put that there, though. Okay. So here's the one side of it. Okay. And here's the, the insides that goes like this. Or something along those lines. Anyway. So open that up. Whoops. That's the battery compartment that just fell out. That slips in like. Into the booze. Okay, this thing takes what? Four C batteries. Four C batteries to what? Run a lamp? To run a lamp. A projection lamp. That's really ridiculous. Okay. So we're going to open up now this because we really don't need this. This is all superfluous because I'm not going to use it. Oh, what the hell happened here? It's like one of the connections broke from the, from the battery compartment to here. It's like the connection just snapped. That's some good soldering, I tell you what. I love they even have it taped down with... <laughs> oh, this is great. This is beautiful. I love this. Wonderful. Okay. Where does it say made in China on here? Where does it say it? Where does it say it? On the battery compartment, right? It's got to say it. Made in China. Made in China. Made in China. I swear to God, it says made in the U.S. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to open up the lamp now, figure out how that works. See if I can't... Oh, these things unscrew. Okay, that's good, so I can move them like that. Okay, we'll be back in a little bit. Bye-bye.